BGMC. The biblical truth lives here. We are living in the time like no other in history. But fortunately for us, God wrote it all down in His prophecies. Find out what prophecies happened this week ripped straight from the headlines. Stay tuned for the Prophecy Headlines News Show on The Remnant's Call. The Remnants Call, End Time Prophecy! News! Everybody! Da 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 Here's Johnny! All right, going on to the first news story. A lot of stuff happened in Israel this week. Muchas cosas aconteciendo allá en Israel en esta semana. Our first news story from Israel. La primera historia desde Israel. That's what happened last Shabbat, everybody. Look at the picture. Eso fue lo que aconteció el, el Shabbat pasado. Miren la, la imagen. That's not tomato juice. Eso no es salsa de tomate. That's Jewish blood. Eso es sangre judía. The family was celebrating their grandson's first Shabbat home. La familia estaba celebrando su primer Shabbat con el hijo en casa. And just some disgusting Muslim Palestinian came in to their house who was their neighbor. Y era el vecino este que llegó a la casa, un palestino. They let him into the house. It was a neighbor. They thought he was their friend. Él entró a la casa, pensaban que era su amigo, él era su vecino. It's one of the reasons you can't trust Muslims. Es una de las razones por la cual no puedes confiar en los musulmanes. Okay. Next slide. Próxima página. I have to agree with the chief rabbi on this one. Tengo que estar de acuerdo con el con el chief rabbi. El, the chief rabbi, rabbi said they should have killed the man. El, el rabino principal dijo que debía de, de, de matar a ese hombre que. And this is biblical. Y eso es bíblico. Torah says that you can defend yourself. La Torah dice que debes defenderte a ti mismo. So they should have murdered, the, not murdered, killed this dog. Y dice en la ley que debes de matar a ese a ese a ese perro. And then the book of Esther chapter 8 and 9 also tells us we can defend ourselves. Y en el libro de Esther dice también que podemos defendernos a nosotros mismos. So in this one I have to agree with the chief rabbi. Y en esto estoy de acuerdo con el 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 rabino principal de Going on to the next slide. The Jerusalem police chief el jefe de la de la policía de Jerusalén said that if the uh, um, upheaval, the unrest keeps happening, dice que si el eh, que el, el tumulto de la de la if the ¿cómo? the rioting keeps happening, dicen que si eso continúa aconteciendo, there's going to be some casualties. Dice que va a haber consecuencias a eso. That the police department is going to use live bullets que la policía va a utilizar eh, balas reales. Make it 74 up front. Going on to the next slide. La próxima página. You know your tax dollars. Any of you who are actually paying taxes? Sabes que sus impuestos, aquellos que eh, pagan impuestos. We give a lot of money to the Palestinians who give it to the terrorists. Dimos mucho dinero a los terroristas este, pagando los impuestos. If they kill a Jew, they get $3,000. Y si ellos más matan a un judío, ellos se le da unos tre, unos tres mil dólares. You understand that. So get entender? in contact with your senators and your congress people to tell them to stop this. Así que ponte eh, en contacto con los senadores y los eh, los gobernantes para que ellos detengan este suministro de dinero. Tell them to to uh, uh, pass through the Taylor Force Act. Dicen que para que detengan el Taylor Force, it's a person's name. Ese es el nombre que se le dio, el Taylor, el Taylor Force, Force Act. Force. Force. Okay, that'll stop payments to the Palestinians. Para que detengan el, el pago a los palestinos. Let them sink, we don't care about them. They're animals. Dejen que se hundan, ellos son animales de todas formas. Anti-Semitism, everybody, please take note of this. Noticias antisemitismo, por favor, preste atención y tome nota de esto. Because when this starts happening around the globe, porque cuando esto ocurre alrededor del mundo, Jews and other people die. Judíos y otras personas también mueren. Okay, California imam calls on Allah to annihilate the Jews. Go ahead, make my day. 
el imán de California llamó a, llamó a su Dios a, a destruir a los judíos. Why don't you come here? ¿Por qué no vienes aquí? You can say hello to my friend Smith and Wesson. Puedes juntarte con mi amigo uh, Smith y Wesson. I'll make sure that you go meet Allah in hell. Puedo asegurarme de que te reúnas con Allah en el infierno. He, said, he was calling for the murder of Jews. Él está llamando al asesinato de judíos. When this is happening here, get ready, everybody. Cuando eso está aconteciendo aquí en Estados Unidos, eh, prepárense. Get todo. ready, the times are going to be troubling. Prepárense porque los tiempos van a ser difíciles. Going on to the next slide. Antisemitism in the United Kingdom in England hit record high already. Antisemitismo, el, los incidentes y el récord eh, aumentó en el Reino Unido. There has been 767 cases of antisemitism already in England. Ya ha habido unos 767 casos eh, en esta primera mitad de año del 2017. I wonder why. Me sorprende que... Bueno, me What is living in England now? ¿Qué, ¿Quién están viviendo en Inglaterra? A lot of cockroaches called Muslims. Muchas cucarachas llamados musulmanes. Going on to next anti-Semitism story. Major German newspaper calls Palestinian terrorists the victims. El, el, el principal o el mayor de, de, un, de un papel alemán llamó este a los palestinos que terroristas que son víctimas. So the, the Palestinians were victims. Él ha dicho que estos terroristas palestinos son las la víctimas. Who came into whose house last Shabbat? ¿Y quién vino a casa de quién el Shabbat pasado? Who started stabbing people for no reason at all? ¿Quién comenzó a apuñalar personas sin ninguna razón? Going on to the next news story. End time prophecy news ripped from the headlines. First story here. Go tell the account of the birth of the Jewish Messiah. Bad because Gentiles don't know how to read the word of God. Ve y cuenta aquí en la historia. Dice, ve y cuenta el, el nacimiento, la, la cuenta del nacimiento del Mesías Yeshua. There's a new movie coming out on Christmas, Christmas. Hay una película nueva que está viniendo para el día de Navidad. And here's a picture from it. Y aquí está la fotografía de esa película. That's supposed to be the birth of Messiah. Ahí quiere, eso significa el nacimiento del Mesías. Who can tell me what's wrong with the picture? Can you see it? ¿Quién puede decirme qué está mal en la película? Can you see it well? Amen. Oh, it's a light. No, anybody can anybody see it? Amen. What's wrong with the picture? Easy. Well, you can't really see above their heads at the moment. What about the people? Let's focus on the people. Oh. Joseph doesn't have a beard. What about The other guys with the big hats. ¿Qué pasa con aquellos que con los gorros? The magi. Los magos. Well, first of all, we don't know how many there were. Primeramente no sabemos cuánto eran. Danny. Speak up. Miriam's not covering her hair. Amen. Okay. Um, what else? What about the three kings? Were they there when Messiah was born? No. Estaban ahí los tres reyes. Cuando, o lo magistrado cuando Yeshua nació. Who was there the day he was born? ¿Quién estuvo ahí cuando el día que nació? The shepherds. Los pastores. Did they bring any presents? ¿Trajeron ellos regalos? No. Wow. Oh. Happy, oh. happy birthday. Feliz cumpleaños. We're going to go back to the sheep now. Voy a volver al rebaño ahora. The Magi didn't come for two to three years later. Los magistrados no llegaron de dos a tres años después. I mean, it's good that they're trying to tell the story of the birth of Messiah, but tell it right. Es bueno que se intente decir el nacimiento y contar el nacimiento del Mesías, pero háganlo bien. And where do you find the birth of Messiah? ¿Y dónde encuentras el nacimiento? Luke chapter 2. En Lucas 2. It tells you who was there when he was born. Cuenta y dice que quién estuvieron ahí cuando él nació. Going on to the next uh, new story. Can you say Nazis or Deuteronomy 28? En esta nueva historia puedes decir Nazi en Deuteronomio 28. In verse 32 it says your, your sons and daughters are going to be taken from you. En el versículo 32 dice que tus hijos e hijas van a ser quitados de ti. Here's a story out of Oregon this week. Esto fue una historia de Oregon. Esta The también. Oregon go state government uh, took three children of these people that they thought were dumb. En el, el gobernador del estado de Oregon 
el gobierno de Oregon quitó a tres hijos a sus padres que pensaban que eran eh, tontos. And they said because their IQ was between 72 and 66. Y dijeron porque su, su IQ, IQ era entre 72 y 66. Okay, most government officials, their IQ is about 50. Y la mayoría del el IQ de los, de los oficiales estaban en 50. Especially the former president Obama, his IQ must have been about 32 or something. Y principalmente el presidente pasado, Obama, tenía su IQ lo más seguro en unos 30 o 20. Okay. Why is this story so important? ¿Por qué esta historia es tan importante? Because this is why you need to get yourself a gun. Porque es por eso que deberías de tener una arma de fuego. Let mismo. me tell you what happened to my family in the 1930s. Déjeme contarte qué pasó en mi familia en los 30s. My family lived on the Russian-Poland border and mi, in Germany. Mi familia vivía eh, entre Alemania y también en, en la frontera de, de Polonia y Rusia. And the Nazis came one night. Y los nazis vinieron una noche. And took most of the family away. Y tomó a la mayoría de la pa de parte de la familia. If we're going to go down, we're going to go down with a fight. Si vamos a caer, caeremos peleando. This is happening all across America, everybody. Eso está pasando en toda América. Get ready. Prepárense. When Satan comes to try to take your children. Cuando Satanás trate de venir y tomar tus hijos. There's a promise in the Bible. Hay una promesa en la palabra, en la Biblia. Five of you will chase a hundred. Dice que cinco de ustedes eh, perseguirán a cien. If you stand with God, si te paras a favor de Dios, He will help you defend yourself. Él te va a ayudar a defenderte. Going on to the next new story. In Leviticus 18, verse 23, en Levíticos 18, verso 23, God says don't have sex with animals. El Señor dice no tengas relaciones sexuales con animales. Why would God write something like that? ¿Por qué el Señor escribiría algo así? Well, the pagans were having sex with animals. Bueno, los paganos eh, tenían relaciones con animales. And now science has proven that. Y la ciencia está probando esto. The next esto. story here. En la próxima Ancient historia. Ancient humans had intercourse with non-humans. Dicen animals. que los, los, los humanos este, ancianos o antiguos, antiguos humanos tenían relaciones sexuales con no humanos. Okay. Well, God wrote something that means people were doing it. Si el Señor escribió algo, se supone que el Señor ya lo sabía. And God said, don't do it. El Señor dijo, no hagas eso. It's disgusting. Que eso es repugnante. Going on to the next news story. Próxima Cowards historia. don't get into heaven. Dice, los, los cobardes no entran al cielo. In Revelation 21, verse 8, it said, the cowardly do not get into heaven. Dice en Apocalipsis 21, 8, dicen que los cobardes no entrarán al cielo. In this next news story, en esta historia, a, a pastor was forced to move. Dice esta historia que un pastor fue obligado o forzado a moverse. Because he was standing against the rainbow and the homosexuals. Porque estaba en contra de los del, del arco iris y los homosexuales. What are the homosexuals gonna do? Oh, we're gonna paint your house red. ¿Qué van a hacer los homosexuales? Oh, voy a pintar tu casa de we're gonna, we're gonna stand in front of your house and go, stop it, big boy. No vamos a parar frente de tu casa y vamos a decir, oh, hombre fuerte. Okay, if you're gonna stand up for the Lord, stand up for the Lord. Si te vas a parar a favor del Señor, párate a favor del Señor. And the rainbow is ours anyway. The rainbow is ours anyway. Porque el arco iris es nuestro de todas formas. And we thank the homosexual community for letting the world know y le estamos agradeciendo a la comunidad homosexual por dejarle saber al mundo that when you're to God's laws, que cuando le eres desobediente a las leyes de Dios you get spanked by God. eres eh, castigado por Dios los sodomitas romanos 1 24 okay, going on to this story Thank you, President Trump. Let's give President Trump a hand today. President Trump, muchas gracias. He said, "No more homos in the military." Él ha dicho, "No más homosexuales en la milicia." We're not paying for. No more transgenders. No más transexuales. We want men in the military. Dice que queremos hombres en el ejército. And ladies, you don't really want to be there. Y mujeres realmente no quieres estar ahí. When men go to war, Cuando los hombres van a la guerra. And you lose, y se despierden. Men 
act like animals. Los hombres actúan como animales. And, and it doesn't they don't care how ugly or how pretty you are, they will do lots of bad things. Ellos no les interesa qué tan bonita, qué tan fea seas, ellos van a hacer cosas malas. And if a guy doesn't know how to be a guy, y si un hombre no sabe cómo un tipo no sabe cómo ser un hombre. Oh, me va a disparar. I'm more like, go ahead, take a shot. Come on, come on. Should we do 10 paces and let's do it? Okay, thank you, Mr. President. You're doing a halfway decent job. Gracias, Presidente. Has hecho un buen trabajo. So he overruled Obama because Obama put this into, into the military. <laughs> Got you, Obama. Sobrepasó de Obama porque Obama fue que puso esa regla. President Trump has got a real good pen and a good phone. El señor Trump tiene buen gusto, un buen bolígrafo. Oh, hey, the dogs, the snakes, the animals, Islam. Los perros, los, las serpientes, animales del Islam. As you can see, we are not very pro-Muslim. Como puedes ver, no somos muy pro-Islam. There you see some prostitute, a Muslim. Ahí puedes ver a uh, esta prostituta musulmana. She was teaching preschool in Texas. Ella estuvo enseñando preescolar en Texas. And she put on her Facebook page, we should kill some Jews. Y ella puso en su Facebook que deberíamos matar a algunos judíos. And then, then she said, how many Jews died? Oh, she tweeted it? Yeah, she tweeted it. Tweeted it, whatever. Ella puso en It's just all garbage to me. Okay. Uh, then she said, how many Jews died in the Holocaust? Not enough. Ha, ha, ha. Ella puso, ¿cuántos judíos murieron en el Holocausto? No lo suficiente. Ha, ha, ha. Don't worry. We're coming for you. No te preocupes, vamos a venir por ti. Let's go to the war stories. I only put two of them up, but there's a lot of war stuff going on. Hay mucha historia de guerra y, y solamente puse dos, pero hay demasiada historia sobre guerra. First war story. There's genocide going on in the Middle East of the Christians right now. Se está haciendo un genocidio que está ocurriendo ahora mismo en el Medio Oriente con los cristianos. But the State Department in their press releases pero les, el, the government el gobierno que pasó, uh, is removing the word genocide from the releases. Ellos estaban removiendo la palabra genocidio de, 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 lo, de sus reportes. This is war, everybody. Esto es guerra. Going on to the next worst story. China okay. is eradicating Christianity from its country. China está removiendo el cristianismo de su, del país. They're arresting people that went to Christian summer camp. Están arrestando personas que están yendo a campamentos cristianos. You should really feel blessed, everybody. Deberían de sentirse bendecidos. And things are not great in this country, but they're far better than Venezuela. Estamos, no, no, estamos, no somos perfectos en este país, pero estamos mucho mejor que you Venezuela. You should thank God that you live here right now. Debes de agradecerle a Dios que estás viviendo aquí ahora. Okay. Going on to the next war story. I think there's one more. This man should be arrested. Este hombre debería ser arrestado. But this is very real, everybody. Pero esto es muy real. They're talking about a military uh, takeover of the presidency. Ellos están hablando sobre eh, que el ejército tome control de la presidencia. Okay. This is getting serious, everybody. This is a former CIA director. Esto es el director de, director. La, de la CIA que eh, está informando esto que está aconteciendo. Because they're supposedly investigating President Trump. Porque está supuestamente investigar al presidente Trump. For meeting with the Russians. Por reunirse con los rusos. Might I remind you of the Kennedys? Que recuerda te de los Kennedy. When the president's brother were, was meeting with the Russians. Cuando su el, el hermano del presidente estuvo reunido con los rusos. Okay. Let's just go a little bit in history, people. Solamente eh, re, regresemos en la historia. Okay. But when this starts happening, when people are open about it. Pero cuando eso está aconteciendo y las personas están abiertas a eso, it's time to get yourself ready for a battle. Es tiempo de que usted se prepare para la batalla. And when I was a kid, they would have arrested this person. The, the government would have arrested this person. Y cuando yo era un, un, un niño, el gobierno hubiese arrestado a esa, a esa All persona. All right, that's enough news for right now. Esto es suficiente noticias por hoy. If you're out there, there's almost 900 of you. Si estás allá afuera y eres de esos 900 de If ustedes. If each one of you gave five dollars. Si, si cada uno de ustedes diera cinco dólares. We would buy a billboard. Nos hemos comprado un billboard. Right on Route 3. Allá en la ruta 3. Where millions of people go into New York City every day proclaiming Messiah is Jewish.
Shalom. My name is Messianic Rabbi Andrew Dinnerman, and I invite you to come to visit our congregation. If you are in the tri-state area, come out and visit with us on Shabbat. We are a congregation of Jews and Gentiles, living as one in the Messiah Yeshua. BGMC is a place of true worship. The focus never wanders from the Hebraic roots of our faith. Beth Goyim is rooted in the Word of God from Bereshit through to the book of Revelation. Messiah's strong words against man-made tradition are carefully recorded in Matthew 7. That is the reason we only follow the straight-up instructions found in Scripture. Truly, the way, the truth, and the life. If you're looking for a deeper walk with Adonai, come out for our Tuesday evening Bible study called Messianic Torah Time. Come, spend the day with us on any Shabbat. We start at 11 a.m. with the sound of the ancient Hebrew shofar. Next, we offer our King praise and worship in English, Hebrew, and Spanish. After worship, we review the headlines in the previous week's news from around the globe, especially news from the Holy Land, Israel. We don't just list the news headlines as current events, but we comb through the scriptures searching for clues to understand what they mean and then to help pinpoint prophetically our current position on Adonai's clock. After digesting all that modern information, we leave the world behind as we journey with our Adonai deep into his eternal word, not with just one or two scriptures, but usually seven or more scriptures. The spiritual nourishment and the richness of his kingdom become accessible to the ones who share this special time and seek them out. The day does not end there. Because Shabbat is so special to him, there is always so much more that our king desires to share. So instead of separating and leaving, we stay together as a family for potluck lunch and an afternoon study of our king's word. We close this Shabbat together with a reading of the new week's parasha. That's the Torah portion. Even after those blessings, Many of us just can't get enough. So the members bring prepared homemade foods to share while we all enjoy an uplifting movie together. If all that information is not quite enough, you can check out our website where you will find over 200 video teachings and biblical holy day studies. Under Messianic Torah Time, the Hebrew Roots button, you'll discover free studies on many, many different topics, including PowerPoint slide presentations. If Beth Goyim sounds like a place you'd love to visit, but you live outside the tri-state area, there is still a way to connect with us. We stream live on the internet on Tuesday, Thursday, and Shabbat. The website is www.bethgoyim.org. That's B-E-T-H-G-O-Y-I-M.org. Our phone number is 973-338-7800 or 978-2-YESHUA. That's 978, the number 2, Yeshua. Shalom.